Hello there, Jose Rodriguez here, or J. Toolman 1949. I am here with my mini lathe that I purchased about a year ago from LittleMachineShop.com. Now many of you may know that I create and produce videos that I sell through that company on micro machining. Well, I had been for a very long time using a, basically a homemade or shop made milling machine that you may have seen if you are a follower of some of my work in a previous uh, video. I decided that I really needed to upgrade some of my uh, videos so I went ahead and purchased a brand new Little Machine Shop 3960 high torque mini mill and also a mini lathe a 12 by 7 or 7 by 12 I think it's a 4100 model. Well they quickly shipped it via truck now someone between the warehouse in Pasadena and my home in Maryland decided to drop this crate in fact I decided to uh, go ahead and mill something then I realized that the complete column was leaning uh, toward the front quite a bit I never really uh, found out exactly how much that was just the fact that it was and it was nothing that you can tram and adjust to uh, fix that it, it was just bad then I decided to quickly do a uh, a closer look now some might some of you might ask well why didn't I inspect the uh, crate outside well it's it's you have to see it to believe it is it is a complete covered box and uh, of not not the finest material but anyway the truck driver just drops it off he's gonna go you know he's only like the third person that has actually touched this machine since it departed California so then I began to look at possibilities of uh, maybe the column being on crooked or any similar uh, problems such as that because yes it was leaning forward quite a bit so now I'm going to go ahead and, and rotate my little table here. I have this here temporarily sitting on a little bench on wheels. So I'm going to show you what actually took place. Okay, this shot is of the rear of the column. You see that there's a flange located here. Now this unit is cast iron and is done as a one piece unit. So there are no seams or, or other, uh, it's not a two-part or a three-part unit. It's, it's cast as a single unit. It had a crack right along this seam. In fact, it went along both sides. So my only uh, option at that, st at that time was to contact the folks at littlemachineshop.com. They didn't have a uh, spare column available, so they had to order one for me, and they shipped it to me free of charge which you can't complain about but the problem was I needed this baby up and working so I had to go ahead and uh, put together some sort of temporary repair so that I could get busy and produce my first and you know follow-up series of videos on this machine now I took apart the whole unit removed the head that's quite an undertaking remove the junction box so I was left with just the bare column. It is held together to the base by four large bolts. Disregard this for a minute. So what I had to do was turn it upside down and basically there was no no welding this puppy back in, in line because really it was not only cracked but it had actually flexed just a little bit on the uncracked area so it was actually uh, spread apart now I figured okay I will either break it into pieces when I try to um, force it back into alignment or or not so what I ended up doing was I drilled four holes through the base into the body of the column I tapped this portion of the hole and I made clearance holes for four cap screws I was able to screw those cap screws tight enough to actually close the gap completely. 
and as you can see it is now closed. I also installed a uh, like a torsion bar that goes from the underneath the base and links up with this cross screw right here and I was able to then from underneath pull and actually create a lot of tension that keeps this base from wanting to uh, move in this direction realize that mills are kind of top heavy as you can tell that's the way all mills are designed so there's a lot of force a lot of tension against the base now the way I see it maybe this base should have been cast as a uh, solid piece but it is not as hollow I'm going to show you the new base that I received which I haven't even installed yet because for at least a year I have not had any further problems with this mill and that's doing every single operation that I can come up with and here is the brand new column it is totally unused there's the base it weighs 23 pounds I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over and show you the underside but as you can see it is hollow it is about 3 8 maybe a little over that in wall thickness again um, had it been solid or at least solid from maybe this point on down it that would that would actually um, add a whole lot of uh, rigidity to the whole uh, mill and here is what the underside looks like As you can see the dovetail where the head moves up and down against but this is where I had to drill I had to literally because it was cracked this portion here was literally separated so I had to drill holes through here and then I drill also holes in here and then I bolted it all back and I was able to bring this back to alignment by simply providing the force by those cap screws and so far so good it is kind of a um, not probably a proper way to repair this but uh, to show you how accurately I was able to get this realigned I was able to um, indicate off of a surface plate on a six inch circle and I was off by half a thousandth of an inch along the circumference of the uh, spindle travel so that's about as accurate as it can possibly get a mill to be so now I got this puppy working perfectly and I haven't even used nor touched the brand new column I really dread getting back and tearing this uh, mill apart completely apart again just to install the new one and I think I will keep the repaired column in there unless something happens that I need to actually replace it now I had to sh uh, do a little bit of shim work when you tram a mill to the table you will often have to insert very thin pieces of shim material and you can see right here I have a little piece sticking out it's so thin it's almost like it's almost like like a foil maybe a couple of thousands and there's one on the opposite side but I think that's probably not very visible okay in the next series of videos I'm going to go ahead and go through a lot of the tooling for this mill I will also cover tooling that I have uh, made for it and uh, also touch on the mini mill and as well as miniature cabinet making alright so we'll see you soon hopefully until then bye bye